Welcome back to Yoshi Entertainment, everybody. So just recently, and I mean hot up off the press, onto the social media, websites, networks, everywhere, it just dropped that allegedly Jeannie and Jeezy are splitting, unfortunately, getting a divorce. Now, allegedly, he was the one who filed for the divorce. Apparently, statistically, the men usually don't file. Usually, it's the woman that files. And usually, when that happens, that there is something really that went wrong in the relationship. Nobody knows the reason as of yet because they've yet to release that information. Although, at the moment, they have just kept saying that it's one of those irreconcilable type things. There's, and I quote, no hope for reconciliation, which is really messed up, you know, because they have a child together now i don't take pleasure in people's relationships going to the trash like this although i do make it a point to point out things you know patterns obvious things i like to have mature conversations surrounding this kind of stuff despite how people feel and the allegiance that they seem to have for these celebrities can we have a mature conversation about this please to be completely honest and with all due respect i am not surprised by this information at all and i'm kind of shocked and a little bit disturbed and confused by the number of individuals that are surprised by this information i'm sure i've said this before on one of my previous videos on this channel but i'll say it again these celebrities do not need to be the blueprint for relationships whenever you see them getting into relationships they don't always do it i'll even say that they rarely do it for the right reasons a lot of times these celebrity relationships and marriages are based off of why they do them are based off of what they can get from the other person how their career and their image can be furthered by being involved with that person a lot of times these celebrity relationships are just business relationships business arrangements but it's hard to have that conversation because so many people you know the average james and joe internalize these people's relationships and like I said they have some weird loyalty or allegiance to these people that if you say anything that they don't like about them about their relationship they call you a hater amongst a bunch of other butthurt insults but my question is where are all those people whenever this kind of stuff happens another point that I like to mention is that I like to see patterns identify patterns I try to be very observant of people's words versus their actions and if you pay close attention even without knowing Knowing a lot of these people and a lot of these celebrities, you can still tell where they're headed. I'll give you an example that I'm not the only one who has reminded everybody about. Whenever Jeannie sat up on the internet on the reel and fixed her mouth to say white meat makes her lean and mean, but she likes to have her dark meat on the side, I knew for a fact that that relationship was not gonna last. Whenever a relationship, a marriage is not based upon a solid foundation, true love respect honor for the person a desire to live with that person you know the knowledge that your union is supposed to accomplish something the union being functional non-toxic healthy minded it is not going to last now i know some people are probably wondering what in the world does that have to do with this situation well let me break that down like simple math First of all, that was morbidly disrespectful for her to say about him, about black men in general, because by extension, that has to do with black men. And it's kind of morbidly disrespectful towards white men when you really think about it. She fetishized black men. And the crazy part about it to me is nobody really called her out about it. I mean, a few people did, but not enough people. And for some reason, what people can't seem to wrap their head around and grasp and understand is that a fetish is not love. And it's really not even respectful either. It'll stroke your ego, sure, to know that somebody likes you because you're black. You don't want somebody with a fetish mindset towards you or those attitudes towards you to be in a committed relationship with you. I'm not saying that black people can't or shouldn't be with non-black people. And I'm not saying it's not okay for a non-black person to like a black person because they are black. I'm just saying when it slips into fetish territory, that's a problem. The second issue that I've seen with this couple that I feel like a lot of people glossed over is something that I mentioned before in a previous video. Like I said, look at somebody's history see where they came from, observe how they've handled situations in past relationships, look for obvious red flags. Now, I'm not saying that people who had previous failed relationships or children from other people are just awful and they should be written off completely and that they're not, you know, marriage material. But if you've seen a pattern going somewhere, I mean, it's only common sense to observe the pattern and act accordingly. And I feel like both of them didn't do that another thing i wanted to mention because of the vibes so to speak that i was getting from this is 
once again with these celebrities, stop putting them on a pedestal. Stop putting yourselves on a pedestal. Stop making it seem like you're so high and mighty that you cannot stumble over the same things if you're not awfully careful that some other people who you might think you're better than or you dissociate with have stumbled over. Whenever you mock people, you make yourself prime candidate number one to have problems in the same way. Also, sometimes people try to make themselves be the blueprint of what a perfect relationship should be like. Or they kind of just always make themselves seem like this very unrealistic image of what a perfect relationship should be like. Like I said before, these people, we don't know their private lives. We only see what they put on social media. There's no telling what goes on behind closed doors, which again is another reason why we ought not put them on a pedestal and believe everything that we see. Now, one interesting thing that I've been seeing a lot on social media lately about this situation, I don't know if it's 100% true or not, because like I said, they have not released why they're you know, possibly allegedly splitting and they don't owe anybody an explanation. Although some people have been putting out there that they think that it's a result of a culture clash. You know, in the black community, you know, your parents, y'all go your separate ways after you make it big. Sometimes a lot of these people out here, they don't believe in taking care of their families. They don't even believe in taking care of each other when they're in a relationship together. Let's just be blatantly honest. But in the Asian community with the women, when you marry them, when they say I do, you don't just take care of them. You take care of their family too. Some people were alleging and making the assumption that maybe he just got sick and tired of being involved with her family or having her family always, you know, in their life, especially her mother. I've been hearing a lot about that lately as well, which is why another thing that I like to say on this channel, when you date interracially, you have to understand the weight that comes with it, the responsibility that comes with it, which is why once again, you can't be out here marrying people based on a fetish, based on a bias or whatever lustful or carnal reason you're thinking about being with them. There's a saying that a lot of people like to use in these kind of scenarios. They love to say marriage sucks. And to that, my response is no marriage doesn't suck. People suck. A marriage can be done successfully when built on the right foundation and the two individuals who engage in it do the right thing. But anyways, this was a serious conversation, a mature conversation for mature people. You have the right to disagree with my thoughts and what I felt like about this situation. If you do, all I ask is that you do so respectfully. And if you can't handle that, then this ain't the video for you. But anyways, let me know what you think down in the comments below respectfully. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Y'all have a blessed day.